comfort. And today he's going to tell us, he's going to reassure us that he does every time we come here into this building that we're doing exactly the perfect will of the Lord Jesus by hearing these tapes every time. Praise the Lord. And we're going to find out how important it is to play tapes in church. We're going to find out. Praise God. It is a huge controversy in today. I'd say it's the biggest controversy inside of the message today. That right there. You know, it used to be a lot of the doctrines and teachings and things that were going out in different ministries and pulling our direction. Those are, they, they're gone. They're gone. But it is playing the tapes in the church. That is the controversy. It is like it was in the days of Jesus so is it today. The people are divided. He says there are three groups of people. And there were three opinions in the days of Jesus. Is that what he said? That's what the scripture tells us. There are three opinions. One group thinks you must play tapes. It is absolutely necessary to play tapes. That's one group of people. with that group you may be seated you know others there's another group it is absolutely wrong to play tapes in the church they never heard brother random say ever to play tapes in the church <laughs> I, never mind but there is a group that believes that brother random never did say play tapes in church it's wrong to play tapes in the church and then there's another group a third group they don't know what to think. Maybe sometimes, but not all the time. I don't know. They want what they call keeping a balance. You ever heard that terminology? I like to keep a balance, which usually means let's play a tape twice a month on Wednesday night. That's not a balance. A balance is equal. Just be equal. If you want to keep a balance. That's, if you want to keep a balance, then keep a balance. Remember, there were three groups then. And there's three groups now. What did they say then? But like in the days of Moses, they started murmuring. They had a plan. We've got to do something. It takes more than just Moses' word. <laughs> they wanted something more than just Moses' word. Moses' word wasn't good enough. That's what he said. I'm quoting the prophet of God. It takes more than Moses' word. I guess they felt it just took a balance. <laughs> Amen. That they needed Moses and them. Nonsense! Amen. We need the prophet, the message, period! Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now listen, this doesn't mean there isn't a five-fold ministry. And there's going to be many of them listening because they listen to what we say. 
what goes on here. They listen. And I'm not saying it because of them, because it's just truth. It's truth. There is a need for the fivefold ministry. There is a fivefold ministry. There has to be ordained men of God. God put them in church. He put them there. He said he put them there for the perfecting of the bride, the word. They're in the church. They're here. They can't be taken out. And we need them. We need them to point the people to the message, to the messenger, to the voice, and to play tapes. That's what they need to do. They have a job to do. I have a job to do to point you back to this message. It's not the message plus more. It's just the message. That's what we need is just the message. But we need men of God to point the people. Stay in the word. Listen to the word. There was a spirit that he's going to tell us about that raised up the Dathan and Korah. They take Moses takes too much of himself. This William Bram takes too much on himself. We've got to have something more besides William Branham. We've got to have this. It's nonsense. We don't. You, they don't have a message. There's only one message. There's one message. And there's one messenger. Point the people to that message. You know, the brothers say that I am separating the people by saying the things that I say from this pulpit. I don't want to separate the people. I want to unite the people. Amen. And there's only one thing that can unite the people. Amen. This word. Amen. This prophet. Amen. This message is the only thing that can do it. Amen. Not some other minister. Not some other group of people. Not something else. The word. This message. Amen. It's not to separate them. It's to bring it together. Amen. Don't be mad at me. I'm just quoting the word. Amen. The word said, it. I'm not saying these things. The word is saying it. Amen. I'm trying to point you back to the truth, Amen. back to the message of the hour. Play the tapes. Amen. Amen. I don't understand if you believe this is the anointed word of God. If you believe this message, he's going to tell us tonight. It's the Messiah, the anointed one that we needed, that he came. He is vindicated, vindicated by a pillar of fire, vindicated by three poles. Here he is. It's the word of the hour. Why would you not want to give that to your people to be gathered together? Amen. I want you all not to be around your church, around the Word. Amen. We're around the Word. Amen. I want you to be part of that. Amen. That is what's perfecting the bride. Amen. And it only will take this message. Men come, men go. Brother Branham says, and he'll tell you tonight, everybody's different. Identical twins are different. <laughs> They're different. He says, no two men are alike. They got different ideas, different thoughts, different opinions, different everything else. Praise the name of God. One day, Tom, if it goes on, I pray that it doesn't. I ain't going to be here. But this church will be the same because their pastor is William Marion Branham. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 